welcome to Minute with Nature. I'm your host, Lauren Azuri, the park naturalist for West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation. And today we're here inside our nature room talking about fall. Fall is really the time when animals are getting ready. Some of them are getting ready to migrate, some of them are getting ready to hibernate, but some of them are getting ready to survive the winters that we have here in Michigan, which can get pretty cold. How do animals know that fall is here or that it's the time to prepare for winter? A lot of people guess that it's by the temperature, but it's really actually the photo period. So animals know that winter is coming and it's time for them to prepare by the different changes in light. If there's less daytime, they know that it's time to start preparing. One way that animals begin to prepare is by changing their fur. This is the fur from a white-tailed deer. The neat thing about white-tailed deer fur in the winter is that after they've shed their summer coat, they begin to grow this thicker coat. Each individual strand of hair is hollow. We sometimes like to call it hair air. So not just the thicker fur, but the air is what helps insulate them to survive our cold winters. Another animal that does this is the weasel. Weasels are usually brown and black in the fall. As winter approaches, they shed all of that brown and black fur and they turn white. Just the very tip of their tail stays black and they are able to blend in and camouflage in the snow to hide from predators. Fall is a busy time to store food for those animals that will be awake all winter long, such as the blue jays and the squirrels and chipmunks. Acorns are a huge, huge production in this time of year. A fully grown oak tree can produce up to 50,000 acorns per season. Over 100 species in the United States use acorns as a main source of food in the fall. 75% of a deer's diet is made up of acorns in the fall. In the winter, they start to change um, once the acorns are eaten by other animals or stored away. They change what they eat and they start to do what's called browsing. They nibble on branches of trees, buds, and bark. Uh, blue jays are one animal that loves acorns that many people forget about. They actually can carry three or four acorns in their beak at a time since they're such a large bird. And they cache them and store them inside crevices of trees. But it's really interesting to see how these survival methods work for them. Since fall is the time for these animals to get ready, they're busy changing their fur and storing food to prepare for winter. And that's your Minute with Nature. Music